it's been a while since I've uh, uploaded a video so I thought I could um, today make a short presentation of a small project I've been working on uh, this computer is uh, 486 DX2 um, PC computer running a DOS version 6.22 uh, it's the 66 megahertz pro, uh, version of the processor so one of the very last 486 computers made um, besides that it runs uh, 64 megabytes of uh, RAM uh, it currently have a 1.7 gigabyte hard drive in it, so more than enough space. Uh, a CD-ROM. I'm not sure about speed on it, but uh, probably two, four speed maybe. Floppy drive. Uh, I did have a CRT monitor, which is. Um, well over here there it is um, it worked fine but suddenly it just made uh, a lot of uh, electrical uh, crackling noises and boom dead smoke so um, it's going in the bin uh, it I did install a Voodoo 2 graphic card in this machine, but waste of potential. I would at least need a Pentium computer to be able to actually um, run something using 3D. I did install Grand Theft Auto and ran it in 3D FX mode, but yeah wasn't playable. <laughs> uh, I have a sound card in it. Uh, actually here it is, uh, the box. Um, Gravis Ultrasound plug and play. The best sound card for the internet. Um, as I've been told, these are one of the better sound cards in the 90s, uh, if not one of the best cards. Uh, it can emulate uh, Sound Blaster as uh, many of the games in DOS uh, did use AdLib or Sound Blaster to may, uh, for the sound music and uh, Gravis Ultrasound doesn't have that so it but it can emulate so you still can to some degree play the games although it can be a bit unstable at times um, zip drive of course uh, the CD-ROM is great of course but uh, <laughs> if you're going to transfer a lot of data back and forth you're going to waste a lot of CDs doing that so I figure the best solution was zip drive this is the 100 megabyte version I, uh, parallel port I do ha have a USB version of the drive for my regular computer let's start it up of course uh, the picture is a bit odd with uh, an LCD monitor and um, personally I think it's a lot better using um, using a proper CRT monitor which is which it uh, is made for I've made a small uh, boot startup uh, menu one that load without drivers so you get as much conventional memory available as possible uh, without the drivers loaded I get around 620k available memory 
out of 640. Let's start it with the drivers. Um, what uh, the plan is with this computer is to, of course, the real deal is the best. So a lot of the old I've uh, loaded it with a lot of old games. Uh, I have also put in a lot of graphical uh, demos from the uh, demo scene on the internet and uh, bulletin board systems and stuff like that from uh, the old days um, I have also installed uh, Windows uh, 3.1 probably <laughs> don't see that very well uh, I have some programs here too uh, Civilization SimCity or games, um, Pascal, uh, this is version 7, uh, some music player programs, and uh, Borland Office 2.0, uh, which is uh, WordPerfect. Um, the zip drive isn't loaded by default so to be able to load it I would have to start a guest driver to run it but of course Windows is nice um, window manager but uh, Norton Commander is still uh, <laughs> the best for a DOS nice mouse pointer here um, not sure what much there is to show um, I might try to learn some um, Pascal to make some uh, small programs uh, I can um, yeah, see uh, some text based games uh, Elder Scrolls Arena, Daggerfall, which is the first two games, uh, Doom, of course, Duke Nukem 3D, uh, Betrayal at Crondor, Jazz Jackrabbit, uh, Warcraft, Wolfenstein 3D. Can um, turn on the speakers um, to um, emulate Sound Blaster. I would have to type I W S B O S, and it will, uh, in a sense, start up the card as um, a Sound Blaster card, and then most programs and games will accept it as a Sound Blaster, and it will output the sound. Uh, I've experienced some issues with uh, Daggerfall, uh, the game, uh, where it will crash if I try to enable the uh, music part of the sounds, uh, but 95% uh, of the time my experience is that it works, but of course it is still a bit unstable. can start up a graphical demo um, most of them will not work now because I'm in the uh, startup mode where I've enabled most most of the drivers so there's not a lot of conventional memory available but um, this one might start. This is a um, commercial for um, the Gravis Ultrasound sound card or a small uh, short uh, graphical demo.
I do also have a small um, uh, music player for uh, module uh, track files uh, which is basically um, old uh, sound format from the Amiga system uh, mod files uh, to play uh, a lot of the old um, MIDI um, music or um, um, oh, stand still in my head now anyway uh, music player uh, it is supposed to play mp3s but uh, I just get an error I installed another player to play mp3s but that were not much fun the, um, the processor is just too weak to handle it can probably also show uh, Jazz Jackrabbit, which to run uh, it uses, uh, I think it were uh, AdLib for music, which is sound, uh, for the Sound Blaster cards. So to start it with sound, I would have to type that. It should pop up. Turn on again. Hopefully it's, uh, it's enough memory. <laughs> Here we go. Works perfectly. I've also um, added uh, Borlan Pascal to the um, path environment in DOS, so I just need to type BP and it should uh, start up right in the in the pro in the software. Here we go. I did make a small uh, hello world program if I can find where it is it's probably on our BP park there there we go program hello world uh, this is just some fancy stuff I put in so it would clear the screen and also um, pause so that you can actually read the text there we go this should be interesting thanks for watching